So anyway, today I'm going to talk about automotive translation. And um, you see a photograph of my favorite car here, the Ferrari. Uh, unfortunately, I don't own one, but my children are going to be very rich and are going to buy me one, I hope, in the future. But uh, the thing about automotive translation is that it really is a, a very, very wide subject. This is a very, very big industry. For example, Peugeot in, in France is the biggest employer in France. Uh, the French automobile industry is small compared to German or Japanese or, or the American automobile industry. So you'll find that uh, translations come in from a very wide range of subjects and uh, I'll try and cover some of these today, uh, what you might expect and, and where you might find information. It's very hard to be an expert on everything and so uh, if you're at least technically minded, uh, you can go to the websites or the, uh, the dictionaries and understand exactly what you're, you're seeing. But as always, in, in any form of technical translation, it's very, very important to understand the context that you're working in. 